Coming from Democratic Republic of Congo, Elik Bukula, he came out and said today that at the beginning the plot was to force him into exile. For this, they filed a false complaint while he was in Europe. Their plan didn't work. He returned in the country. Now, their plot is to force him underground is to kill him for this they issued a wanted notice irregularly that won't work either he said he is going to wait for his invitation to appear in court they decided that elik bakula should be arrested for accusations of rape brought against him the president of the APK said that the MP should be made available to justice to face the allegations. According to information, Eliki Bukula was accused of having raped his housewife 20 times. A complaint was filed on September 7th by Helen Bondja on behalf of the victim with the Kinshasa Matete Public Prosecutor's Office. The Africa Zone League for the Defense of the Rights of Children and Students supported the plaintiff in this case. Reacting to the APK's decision, Eliki Bukula, who was staying abroad for health reasons, affirmed that he had not heard by the Office of the Deliberative Body of the Congolese capital. However, the office of the Kinshasa Provincial Assembly stated that it invited the deputy to present his defenses, but that he refused to appear in court. Eric Bukula categorically denied uh, the accusations against him and claimed that it is, uh, it is a plot to eliminate him from the race in provincial elections. As deputy of Gekoko Molumba, a politician currently in open conflict with the vice governor of Kinshasa, Eriki Bukula claims that the rape allegations arose after his investigations into the management of pounds in the city and his destruction operations. He said that the alleged, the alleged rape case involving a provincial deputy has sparked investigations among Congolese population. Women's and children's rights movement have called for a thoroughly investigation and justice in the case. 